So for everybody watching as well, it doesn't matter you know, what your PB is, it doesn't matter what you're aiming for, everyone will reach that point where, according to the central governor theory, your body will say, whoa, stop, we've had enough, self-preservation. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you're incredibly fit, obviously that's going to be a lot later. But, but that's one thing that we certainly cover in the book that I'd love everybody to leave thinking, am I really fatigued? You know, right. or have I got something else? Like I said, David Goggins, 40% more, you know, yeah. and, and it's the same thing. Yeah, and except the brain's going to convince you in all sorts of ways oh, that it's time to stop. Yeah. But if you can logically know it's not and be used to having the conversation with your body and say, you know what, I don't believe you. I actually know that's not true. Yeah. And I need to do this now yeah. for me, for my exploration, to be, hit this record. Yeah. And guess what? I'm not going to listen to you. Can we make a little deal and keep going forward? <laughs> And so, yeah, it's that's good to know. True. My problem is, is when I get in a bad mood, and that happened earlier because I don't think I had eaten enough, yeah. and when I get in there, and when I get in a bad mood, I'm just like, fuck this, fuck you all, fuck, and, I, yeah. and when I'm in a bad mood, I'm in a hole and I can't get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I struggle with. And so if I'm game, I feel like I can do anything. Yeah, but the yeah, truth yeah. is on these races and what you do, uh, you're going to be at a point where you, you are in a bad mental state. Yeah. And that's yeah. the hard part, right? And it's just, and it's, it's having things in the locker as well. Um, one, of the, one of the Royal Marines, they said to me, you know, just don't rap. Because if you don't rap, you're going to finish, you know, at some point. So that right. was in the locker. You just know, never, never stop. And just then you'll stop. finish. Yeah, because you right. can't fail if you're never going to stop. You might yeah. still be out there and everybody else has gone home. But you've not lost. I like you're that. still going. Like so that, that was one thing in the locker. Um, I had my parents and my girlfriend. They were on the boat. So there was times where they were, you know, shouting stuff across. And then also as well, like, I'm, I don't mind admit I'm such a mummy's boy. So when I was looking and I was swimming and all I could see certain times was, was my mum on the boat. And I was like, it doesn't matter how hard I'm struggling, I don't want to upset her. So right. every time she looked at her, I'll be honest with you, Brian, I was chafing. My tongue swelled up so I couldn't actually swallow any more food. But as soon as my mum was like, you okay? I was like, mum, I'm fine, it's great. <laughs> you know, so that was another thing in the locker. Right. You know, so for you, it's just have so many things in the locker. Right. And at any given point, when you need to switch it, you know, you, you can do that. Oh, yeah, focus on something else. So anyway. I'm finishing no matter what. Even if they shut the race down at 12, I'll be like, I'm going to keep going anyway. Yeah. So you know you're going to finish. That's yeah. a great one. Yeah, yeah. And then you can, you can focus on different people like, okay, let's talk about my son. Yeah, yeah. When, when he's older, do you want him to see this? What do you want him to see? And let's talk about my mom. That's, yeah. And then I remember when I used to do burpees at the end of one of my workouts, and I would, at the very end, I did like 20 burpees. I was totally exhausted. I remember each burpee would be for a person in my life. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. Sometimes it would be for even people I didn't like. Yeah, and This yeah. one's for you, and this one's yeah, for you, yeah. and this one's for you. So that's really helpful. Yeah, and that's it. Because I, I love what you said. It's anything, anything. So it's, it, again, um, going back to sort of the military guys, during a 30-mile yomp, they'll be talking about what pizza they're having afterwards. And it's weird. We've been there cold, 50 kg on our backs, and we'll just sort of go, what, what pizza are you having? And then it'll be like, oh, pepperoni and cheese. Oh, good one. You know, and that gets you through 5K, yeah. you know, just talking about pizza. So just anything. And, yeah. and that's another thing for everybody, everybody watching. Play games, but just ha make sure you win them. You yeah. know, because there'll be loads. Demons will come out and, you know, everything. But you, you've just got to be prepared for anything. Yeah. yeah. And no negative self-talk. Never, ever get yourself saying, I'm tired or it hurts or anything, because that'll just yeah. magnify yeah. and spiral, yeah. right? It's exactly that. Neurologically as well, that will just, you will start dragging your feet, you know, and stuff. So just think how sprightly you are, how light-footed, how during that final, you know, run, you are four-foot striking. And, you know, as far as you're concerned, you are Emil Zatopek, reborn, <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's all you need to start thinking. And sometimes, you know, I, I find that as well, just, you know, visual. So, I, you know, I'm built like a hobbit, you know, I am 5'9 on a good day. But when I was swimming across, you know, St. Lucia, I was like, I bet I look like Michael Phelps right now. You know, I didn't, I've looked at the video. <laughs> but if that helps you, you right, know, elongate my stroke. Long, exactly. Efficient strokes, and exactly. you feel like a fish or something. Ex right? Exactly, yeah, okay. it's exactly that. And anything, anything you can think of. Okay. Yeah.